Hey everyone, how's it going? So recently Optifine came out for Minecraft version 1.13, also known as the Update Aquatic. So today I'm going to show you the best settings for Optifine. So let's get started. All right, so before I get started, if you want Optifine, but you aren't sure how to get it, then in the description down below or at the end of the video on the end cards, you can find my video, my tutorial on how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.13. So for this video, I'm going to use my survival Let's Play world only because it actually builds in it already and it could cause more lag, I guess, by having more things going like more block surrender. So I'm going to use this world as an example. And right now I'm getting like 200, I was getting like 220 FPS dipped down to like 160 a bit. So that's actually not bad. It's doesn't, it's not like the highest settings I think right now. And it's not, it's not that laggy and I'm recording. So yeah, it's actually not that bad, but I can see that uh, it's dipping a lot. So we're going to turn down or yeah, turn down the settings to see what I can get. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the worst settings possible and see what happens to my FPS. So it's about like one, 150 right now. So yeah, we'll, we'll say it was like 150. So we're gonna go to options, video settings, and here are all the settings. And yeah, they're pretty much turned up to like the best settings. So like the laggiest settings, I guess. And now we're gonna turn it to the worst settings. So the quality's gonna go down, but the FPS will go up. So first thing I wanna do is go to graphics and just go and change this to fast. Smooth lighting, we want that off. The smooth lighting level, we want that all the way off. I'm going to skip some too because like if they don't actually need to be changed, I'm just going to skip them. So that doesn't need to be changed. We're good. And render distance, mine's at 10. It kind of depends on your computer. It actually shows you right here like what's the fastest. We're going to put it to too tiny just for this video, for the sake of it. But you can't really see much. View, view, view bobbing is on. doesn't matter. And this thing, it, it, I guess it kind of doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it on, see, see what really happens. You can kind of mess with this and see if it really does anything. I don't think it really does. I'm gonna put the on though. And now, so everything's good on this page. You don't need to change anything like else. Change everything to what I have it right here. Now we're gonna go to details. So in details, you wanna turn clouds to off. Turn this to, I think there's smart. We'll turn it to fast. You can see right here too, it helps you and shows you the settings, like the best ones. Sky, we're gonna turn that off. Sun and moon, you can turn that off cause it might make it faster. But the thing is, you won't know if it's night or day. Well, it's hard to tell. But actually, I'm, I'm going to actually turn that off. Turn fog off. We're going to go ahead and turn translucent blocks to... Okay, this might lag it, actually. Oh, no. It's not bad. So some of these settings, when you change them, it lags the game or can crash the game. If that happens, just come back in. It should be changed. So we're going to put that to fast. Dropped items, you want that fast as well. There we go. You want this to fast. Swamp colors, turn that off. Rain and snow, we want that to off. Stars, don't need them on. Off. Capes, I don't think that, no, it doesn't really do anything. Fog, it doesn't matter because it's off. Handheld tooltips, that doesn't matter. Anti shadows, you want that off, I think. It says it doesn't really matter, but I think you want that off. I'm gonna turn it off. Alternative blocks, alternate blocks, you want that off. And that's the thing, this is gonna lag a bit. Hopefully it doesn't crash, but it might lag just for like, two minutes or less than two minutes I meant I'd say if it does like it's like right now if it lasts for like over two minutes I'd say just exit the game all right so it actually took like a bit over like 15 seconds and it finally came back sometimes it does that because it's changing so many things in the in the world and now smooth biomes you want that to off click done now we're on to animations and this is the easiest thing click all off there we go it's that simple, click done. Now we're gonna go to quality. So mid-map levels, you can look at it here. And this thing, I don't really mess with this too much because it does lag a lot when I move it, when I move the slider. So you can turn this, I think you might wanna turn it down. It says it doesn't usually affect performance, but I notice when I move this, it lags a lot. And this setting, I, I should believe that, well, you want it off, but I think uh, on the site it said this is kinda glitched, so, or maybe it's this one. I don't know, but it's recommended to turn it off, clear water off, off, Custom fonts off. And I'm gonna do this one last because it does tend to lag. Connect your textures. I'll go back to that after all this. Custom sky off. Custom entity models. You want that off. That's actually gonna lag a bit. Usually the stuff that changes stuff in the world. It lags, lags like this for a bit. But we're gonna leave it just for a little bit. And there we go. So that's off. Emissive textures. You want that off. Uh, yeah, it has some, usually when it has stuff to do with like resource packs. Turn that off and that's going to lag as well. All right, so mid map, you want that on nearest. This thing you want to off. 
because it's the fastest. And yes, it's effective after restart, but you want to leave it off. Random entities off. I believe that has to do with resource packs. Better snow off. Custom colors, you want that off. Natural textures, you want that set to off. Uh, yeah, it's usually like, like right here. It's a, something to do with a resource pack. Usually you want that off. So we'll leave that. Custom items, you want that off. And this one's going to lag as well. And you want custom GUIs to off. There we go. Click done. Actually, wait. I forgot about this. Connect texture. This one usually lags and crashes my game. Set to fancy you want to. You, it depends. So look right here in the glass. You can see there's no lines in it. So that's what that's doing is it's fancy textures connected. So it connects the textures. You can have it fast because it looks cool. But you want that off. All right. This one, this one lags my game out. You should crash it. I'm going to hope it doesn't. Okay, so it didn't. That was actually pretty rare. Usually it crashed my game. You want that set to off. Click done. Now I think that we were in, we were in quality. Yeah, so we're gonna go to performance. You want this to off or on, sorry. But the thing is, sometimes people have like problems with uh, turning this on. So if you get like one FPS or like less than 20, try messing with this and turn it off, but I'm gonna keep it on. It works for me. But sometimes people have problems with that. So if you do, that's probably one of like the things that's causing that lag. So we're going to turn fast render two on. We're going to chunk updates one. So we're seeing so one slower, higher FPS. And you want that to one render regions off. I think these might be new settings. Uh, I'm not too sure. Not recommended for integrated graphics cards. So turn it on if you have like a pretty good graphics card. I'm going to leave it off. Smart animations. I'm going to turn it on. It says this. I think this might be a new feature. I didn't see this. Maybe it was adding like 1.12.2. But I'm gonna turn that to on, and we'll, we'll, you can mess with that. Smooth world, I believe you want that on. There we go. Fast math on. Dynamic updates, you want that to on. And lazy chunk loading, I think this might be new as well. I think this may be a new feature, I might be wrong, but it does say turn it off if parts of the leg do not load correctly. So I'm gonna leave that off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with it again just to see, but I'm gonna leave it off for now. And those are for performance settings right there. Then there's other and what you want to do here is just click weather off you don't want that on and i think that's pretty much good i also have full screen for some reason i don't think people say like uh it lags on full screen but for some reason my fps goes up i don't know why it does that it just does that so full screen on it depends on a just if it drops then on full screen then put it to minimize the screen but uh for me for some reason full screen is good for me and that's pretty much it there was i'm gonna go back and look at some of these settings to see so before we were getting 150 ish right now i'm getting 500 so that definitely definitely worked the only thing that sucks is you can't see that far but it definitely did help the graphics uh took a hit the quality but uh yeah we're still getting like 500 400 like 350 that's pretty good so yeah obviously it did work but i'm actually gonna see some settings so there was like settings like for example, I think it was in performance. So we were getting like 400. Let's turn this to on and see. 600. I think that's the best yet. So I think maybe turn uh, turn the setting on. What was that? Video setting performance. Turn that on. And you, yeah, you can just mess with settings. Certain things will work for you. Certain things might not. But also this too. So render distance is that too tiny. You obviously can't see like that far. So I usually put mine to like 10. With Optifine, I could put it to me. I get away with like 12 normal. Plus, what does that do? 400 so yeah now i can see kind of far and yeah that's pretty much it for this video those are all the settings you can pause if you have to so if i went too fast it's just there's a lot of settings but yeah that's pretty much it for this video so like i said at the beginning if you want to learn how to install optifine and you don't know how then definitely check out my tutorial and yeah that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video or it helped you out then leave a like down below and subscribe to join the bomb squad today